In this video, we want to find the integral of 1 over square root of x squared plus 2x plus 5 using trig substitution. Let's first factor this out. So we can think of this as x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 4. And then that's just this x plus 1 quantity squared plus 4. And then we'll make a u substitution. We'll let u equal x plus 1. So then du is equal to dx. So that's just 1 over the square root of u squared plus 4. And at this point, we want to make a trig substitution. So we'll let u equal ta 2 tangent theta. So du is 2 secant squared d theta. So we'll replace u with 2 tangent theta. And when we square that, we get 4 tangent squared. So factoring out the 4 here, we have 4 times tangent squared plus 1. And tangent squared plus 1 is secant squared. And this 4 is going to come outside the square root as 2. And that's going to cancel with the 2 at the top. And the square root of secant squared is just secant. So secant squared over secant will just become secant. So taking the antiderivative of secant theta, that is just ln of absolute value secant plus tangent, and then plus a constant c. Now we need to see what secant and tangent are. Well, here we have, uh, in the previous uh, slide, we had 2 tangent theta is equal to u. So tangent theta is u over 2. So that's why I have opposite over adjacent. Opposite is u, adjacent is 2. And then Pythagorean theorem says this is just a square root of u squared plus 4. So secant is adjacent, or, or rather it's a hypotenuse over adjacent. So that's square root of u squared plus 4 over 2. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. That's u over 2. So we'll plug that in. And then here we can bring this all together because they have a, uh, a 2 in the denominator. But also u, we said, was the square root of x plus 1. So u was x plus 1, rather. And now we can bring it all together and to get this as our final answer.